Assalamualaikum guys, this is Miss Spa from Single Muslim Mums. Jazakallah khairan for joining me for another video. Today, inshallah, I will be reviewing um, these two books by Aina. The first one is a gratitude journal and the second one is um, a productivity journal for Muslims. So the first book, um, this is brilliant for children as well and in fact I'll be giving this to my teenage daughter inshallah as a way to get her to remember the blessings that Allah has bestowed on her um, and hope that you know that has a positive <laughs> effect on her when it comes to me um, so we see on the back here that the book is for a month so four weeks and we've got Aina's logo um, I'm just going to go through it quickly and not go through every page inshallah you can do that yourself so uh we've got the copyright in the beginning we've got details of aina's instagram account loving the purple and gold looks very posh it actually reminds me of um cadbury's drinking chocolate um <laughs> okay so in the beginning we have got uh, an ayah from the quran and basically the four weeks uh, the the month sorry um is split into weekly segments and each segment has got a theme so the first one is alhamdulillah for basic necessities um so it, the first page tells you how to use the gratitude journal and then you've got you're going through your basic necessities whether it's clothes uh sleep um halal food halal meat anywhere anytime dependent on your country of course um, and then you've got your seven days and for each day you write down what you are grateful for with your alhamdulillah for. Um, so that kind of like carries on throughout the whole book. The next bit is about relationships, whether it's friends or um, family, parents. I really like this one, friends in the deen, look at the Nikabi sisters. Again, you write down what you are grateful for. And you've got a note section as well. Next one is about Islam. And what I like about this is we don't think very often um, that Islam is a blessing that has been, you know, given to us. And it is, whether it's being able to go for Hajj or the Quran um, or your Iman, um, halal income, masjid. You know, we're not grateful for that enough. So I thought that section was brilliant. Um, again, you write down what you're grateful for. And the last section is miscellaneous. So anything that couldn't fit into the other categories. What I really like about this is it's not just materialistic things. It's not Alhamdulillah for my iPhone 7 or Alhamdulillah for my Instagram account or my Snapchat, which is probably what my daughter would try to put in here. Um, it really kind of tries to make you think about more meaningful things like cool shades on hot day or um, the reward of planting a tree, miswak, wounds that made me strong. This in particular, I love so much because very often when we go through something, we don't see it as something that is good for us. We, we remember these times as a bad time and you know we don't say Alhamdulillah for the bad times which make us appreciate the good and also make us stronger. And yet we should. So um, you finish off with your seven days again. And um, at the end, um, you've got like some questions, um, self-reflection questions about whether this has helped you um, and you can write down your answers here, inshallah. So that's the first book. At the end, we've got Jazakallah Khaira, uh, Jazakallah Khaira, sorry, from um, Aina, which is lovely. So, you know, they are making dua for you as well. And um, yeah, that's Oh, that's cute submissions the little mailbox um yeah so i think the artwork one of the sisters actually does herself there's two sisters and aina one is like the business mind i think and one is the creative mind uh she does all the artwork herself so that's that's that alhamdulillah so the next planner that i'll be talking about is the productivity journal for muslims and uh, it's broken down into four areas of your life which is spiritual development personal development strengthening relationships and goals and dreams so this binder is actually a whiteboard um binder as well you've got a little pen up here whiteboard marker and you can see i've just i had written my name it wipes off um really well 
that's actually been there for a while so but it does come off i promise um just really quickly about um the quality of the product you've got these little um paper paper protectors paper guards whatever you want to call them and that's brilliant because it stops your pages from ripping i really really love the gold ring binder um and you've got this bit over here to kind of like protect your pages um although mine doesn't seem to want to sit on top of it so um also the paper is really great texture it's not the cheap kind um so inshallah it shouldn't rip very easily okay so again um we start off with a hadith which i like you've got your table of contents explaining the full sections and the one that inshallah i'm going to be um skipping to is personal development so the first one is spiritual and it's got things like um uh, I'll just go to show you really quickly. Um, <clears throat> you've got your Quran tracker memorization, your Quran log, um, prayer tracker, also for the ones that you know you prayed, were late for, or missed. Uh, your Adhgar chart, fasting plan, charity chart, Hajj budget plan. And then you've got your short term, short term, long term goals and your notes section. So um, just going into this a bit slower, personal development, because that's something that I am very much into. Um, it's broken down into self-love, self-care, self-awareness and self-management. And now I cannot recommend personal development enough for me as a sufferer um, of depression and BPD. Things like self-love and self-care are uh, basic necessities for me to cope with my, um, well, my illness, my, should I call it my mental health illness. Um, also, being self-aware is, is always a great thing. Um, the more you know yourself, you know, the more you can work on yourself. So we've got our self-care goals here. Um, and I think what i like about the fact that this is a ring binder is you can add other pages to it so i think i would probably add my behavioral activation chart which i will drop a link to below inshallah and that's basically a chart um where you write down what you're doing for every hour of the day um with a view to seeing where you have got pockets of time free so that you can fit stuff like this into that time then we've got positive affirmations. So things that I love about myself, but very often I might find it hard to think of things that I love about myself. So I can just hear, write down things that others love about me and view it whenever I'm feeling down. Um, and, and that's brilliant. Then we've got self exploration. We've got my weaknesses, my strengths, how I can overcome them and how I can utilize them. And I really like how it's kind of like balancing the almost good and bad um, to promote self-awareness. Here you've got your health goals. Here you've got your decluttering plan, so physical and also mental. And um, the mental bit can, it can be like a brain dump where you write down whatever is on your mind. Um, you know, so the thinking is once it's out of your head and on paper, it should stress you out a little bit less. And here we've got the main self-awareness section, bad habits that you want to break and good habits that you want to cultivate. And what I like about this is often we only focus on our bad habits and we don't think to the future. But because this is a planner, we're planning how we can improve ourselves as well. Alhamdulillah. Um, here you've got your 30 days um, of stress management. So you write down how you're feeling and why it's like a mood diary. What's great about this is if you see a pattern emerging, today I felt grumpy, today I felt tired, today I felt um, demotivated because um, I went to bed at you know 11 o'clock, I went to bed late, I went to bed late. You can start to see a pattern. And that is, you know, sleeping late, for example, might make you, um, more negative and have a negative impact and then you can change it inshallah again we've got our short short term long term goals um and our notes section um the next bit is about relationships so it's looking at relationships um how you can implement the sunnah in your life um 
people that are special to you and how you can make more of an effort and get away from the distractions taking you away from them relationships that you would kind of like like to work on um how you can build a good relationship with your close relatives and distance rel distant relatives um and also this is one thing that i liked social life tracker positive influences in your life and negative influences and ways that you can manage toxic people who drain your spirituality so um you know especially if they, these are people that you can't necessarily get away from um like family members it's brilliant you know you've got a kind of like plan of action so to speak there uh you've got your personal resolutions dawa plan that's another great one because we very often don't think about dawa enough and how we can help people and it's got offline and online so that's brilliant as well because you know everything is online nowadays um again your notes section and your goals and then the last bit is about your goals and your dreams so you've got your dua diary that's brilliant because very often with four kids running around when it comes to me finishing my salah and making dua my brain goes blank but i can have my dua diary here read it beforehand and that will help me inshallah to remember you've got your bucket list as well uh dreams to fulfill experiences to undergo i think that's that's amazing as well and at the bottom here we have got um a hadith here as well so at the bottom of every page we've got our hadith skill development um that's good because again this kind of all promotes confidence and you you are really aware of your own uniqueness and what you've been blessed with you've got your book log here about amazing books that you've read uh facing fears so this is another good one for self-development um fears that stop you from taking risks risks that you do want to take and steps that you can take to prove that your trust in Allah is bigger than your fears uh you've got your perspective shift regrets from the past worries of the future and steps you can take to move forward that's a really good one for healing as well and finally you've got your gratitude list uh hardships through which you grew and positive lessons that you learned from them um and that's from the alhamdulillah for series so it is taking it from here Again, your short-term and long-term goals as well. And you've got quite a few uh, note sections here. And at the end here, you've got this, I could and I did, alhamdulillah. And you've got, barakallahu laka wa jazakallah khayran. Uh, may Allah bless you and reward you with goodness, which I think is quite cute to end um, the planner on last page is um I, I really like this this is a summarized illustration of the journal so all different aspects of you your soul your body your heart your mind and um you know the bits that are important for your soul bits that are important for your body personal development for your heart and for your mind and you can see how they kind of like worked everything out they kind of like key plan for how they broke all the sections down and how they kind of like put it all together which i really really like um I'd probably just kind of keep this. I think this is the printable that they were talking about. Um, so that is the end of the productivity planner. Um, I was also sent... Um, these are just some additional pages. Um, I was also sent this Baraka planner. And um, so this basically uh, is more of a kind of um daily planner th there's less things to do and it's more emptier for you to kind of like you know journal and log your day so to speak um so you've got your salah planner and the idea here is to kind of do everything around your salah so fit everything in around your salah as opposed to fitting your salah in around your day um because if you do everything around your salah you know you're making that your focus um and and as it should be, you know, Allah should be our focus. Um, so here we've got the introduction section. Um, and here we've got our Islamic months of the year, which I really liked. And then here we've got our um, monthly overview planner. We've got our weekly planner about tasks that are high priority, low priority. And you've got your weekly Quran journal. So where you write down your favourite Quranic verses. Um, so do read the top because when I first saw it I just kind of thought that it was for like every day of the week um, and I hadn't really read it properly so um, it gets, seems to get broken down into different things you've got your weekly planner your um, 
So you get like your monthly overview and then you've got your um, priorities that you've got to do. So you to-do list. And then again, you've got your Quran journal. And it seems to kind of follow that pattern. Um, and then you've got your weekly Hadith journal. Again, you've got your monthly overview. Um, so this this is kind of like your calendar. You, the, I thought, first of all, you've got your monthly overview and then it gets broken down into daily, but it doesn't. That's not the format that it follows. You've got your monthly overview and, um, yeah, priorities, uh, Quran, journal, and um, then you've got your Hadith journal. I think, actually, I might have put mine in the wrong way. Um, I had two kind of back to back, I think. Anyway, um, so, yeah, that kind of that carries all the way on. So uh, monthly, Quran, weekly and Hadith. Um, and then if we just skip to the end, that's probably why my folder is so full up. I don't think that there is anything else. No, weekly hadith. So um, I think that's for uh, a few months. I think that's three or four months now that they include in the Baraka journal, um, the Baraka planner. So that is it, the productivity planner from Aina. There is so much in it. These paper protectors are really coming in handy right now. I might have ripped the paper. Um, you can see the paper um, is smaller than the binder, so it fits in nicely and it's protected quite well. I love, um, I love all the artwork. Um, like I said, I think one of the um, one of the sisters, there's two sisters in Aina, and one does the designing, and one is the kind of like business minded one. Um, so they've got like a good balance, and I just I totally love the artwork. Um, yeah it, it's brilliant and you know at the end of this when you filled it all out you could use these as like little mini art posters i guess and stick them up around if you wanted so um inshallah that's it to um find out where to buy these planners from please check out the link below inshallah to the blog post where it will be featured the two planners um if you liked this video please uh give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and um, inshallah, I will see you next time. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum.